okay. Um, does anybody want me have any problems from yesterday? They want me to help you go over or to do. Or are you guys still asleep? You're physically here, but you're just staring at a screen. That's what I'm going to take out of this. All right. Um, well, if yesterday felt okay to you guys, today is pretty much going to feel the same. Rosa, do you have a question you want me to do? Or did you just unmute on accident? Okay. <laughs> so her meeting is going well. Um, all right. Well, let's just start today's then. So I think I think it should go relatively quick because it's going to feel a lot like yesterday's work. And I, I mean, I say a lot like yesterday's work, but it's um, well, it's pretty much exactly like yesterday's work. So this is technically a different section because the textbook has a different way for you to do these problems. And to be honest. I'm not going to have you do it a different way because to me it doesn't even make sense. Like, here, I'll put the problem up. I'll show you the way the textbook shows and um, I'll show you the way the textbook would like you to do it. And I'll tell you why you don't need to. I don't care. Up to you. So, Basically, if you have a binomial, which means two terms, two things, and it's squared, the answer is always going to look the same. The answer is always going to come out like this. And so they call this a perfect trinomial square. Now, the reason that I don't think you need to learn this is because it makes it unnecessarily complicated for you to do it. Okay. <clears throat> so I'll just, I'll do an example first. And the reason I'm even, the reason I'm even showing you this is because if somebody looks at this method and likes it, then you're more than welcome to use it. But I'll just, show you in a minute why it, it really doesn't matter. So in this case, I've got two things and it's perfect squared. So what this formula tells me is that the answer is automatically going to be the first thing squared plus two times uh, two times the first thing times the second thing plus the second thing squared. Now, to me, I mean, it's, it's not like it's bad, but you still have to do work. Like, you still have to square this. And what I've noticed over the years is students will make more errors doing this method then, um, I don't know, who, I need to call on somebody. Adeline. Adeline, yesterday, do you remember what we did yesterday when we had something squared? Like how we did it? Okay, that's all right. Yesterday, what we did was when something was squared, we basically just wrote out both of them the long way. And then we multiplied these out. Like foil, foiling was one, like one word for it, an acronym. But the way we practice it in class is you're going to take the first thing, 3x, times both of the other. So 3x times 3x would be 9x squared. 3x times 2y would be 6xy. And then we took 2y 
times both things. 2y times 3x would be 6xy. 2y times 2y would be 4y squared. And we get the same answer. So today's section is called special products because every single one we're going to get, almost every single one we're going to get, is going to look like that green equation I wrote up on top. And just from my own experience, a lot of the students in Algebra 1 will, will make a lot of mistakes on these because it's super easy to forget to square the 3 and the x and... So, from my mind, I think it's probably better for us to do like we did yesterday. Because then we can kind of do all of the problems the same way. And you don't have to learn like another new method. So, I wanted to show you the correct way first. Because if you like that, you can do that. Um, I think for us as a class, doing problems together, we'll do it this bottom way. And we're just going to multiply them up the longer way. Because then that way, these are the same problems we did yesterday. So I, I'm hoping I didn't confuse you by showing you two different ways to do these. Um, this, this, is pretty, this is exactly what we did yesterday, I guess is my point. And um, to be blatantly honest, I think it's a very real possibility that we'll be done with our notes in 10 minutes. Because if we're going to do this the way we did it yesterday, there's nothing new to learn. So, if that sounds okay to you guys, uh, it's pretty much what we're going to do. Mm, I'm trying to think. Who haven't I called on for a while? Oh, we've got a lot of people here today. Awesome. Um, Ian, how about you? What uh, what should we do to find this answer? Maybe you're not there. Um, Jack, are you there? Okay, excellent. Uh, what do you think we should do with this one? Okay, how about you just tell me what to write? But I, I, th I think what you mean is correct. That's perfect. That's perfect. The whole point about the squared means that there's two of them. Nice. Okay. Thank you, Jack. Um, how about you, Maggie? Is your is your Google Meet running better today? <laughs> Maybe not. Um. Maybe? I came through really weird. I'm going to take that as it probably isn't. Uh, FYI for anybody... So, in your Raptor time... What is, no, it's not called Raptor time anymore. What's it called? Advisory? In your advisory last week, you guys were supposed to be told about how to update your Chromebooks. Because apparently if your Chromebook isn't updated, Google Meet runs badly. So that's one possibility for you guys if you find that you're having troubles is to update your Chromebook. Um, another option is I've had a lot of students not use their Chromebooks for the video meets. What they've done is they've just done the Google Meet on their phone and then just basically use their Chromebook for the work. So if you guys are ever having troubles like streaming, that's one possibility, like one workaround. Um, it's not like a great option, but 
in case you guys need it, do know that that's a possibility. Uh, Jamad, do you think you could help me multiply those out? Yep. And otherwise I can help you with it if you want help. I can. So if we're trying to multiply these out, we are going to take the first thing in the first parentheses and multiply it times everything in the other parentheses. So 6a squared Perfect. So then we've got 6a squared times negative 2. And then we're going to take the second item, the negative 2, times both of the other things. So what would be the... Sure. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be great if you could. Yeah. Oh, yep, yep. No, you're right. Uh, I'm just going to write it out the long way in case somebody needs to see the work, but you're 100% right. And then what would be the last thing? Yep, yep, negative 2 and negative 2. No, that's perfect. Thank you. That was great. So these are the four things we get. So 6a squared and 6a squared is 36a4 because you add the powers. 6a squared and negative 2 makes negative 12a2. Negative 2 and 6a squared makes negative 12a2. And negative 2 and negative 2 makes positive 4. And then these two middle terms can go together. So basically what I'm, what I'm doing is I'm just kind of writing the work in case somebody was having troubles with this yesterday and then just, you know, didn't want to ask out loud or ask questions about it. You guys do not have to show all of this work. So if you're, if you're doing a lot of this work in your head, I'm okay with that. Um, I just wanted to show all of the work to show you where everything came from. How are we feeling on this one? Does this feel harder than yesterday? No, you guys just, you're just mentally tired, huh? Okay, that's understandable. It's understandable. I'm going to put three problems up, and they all have a similarity. <clears throat> and the only reason I'm putting these problems up is basically leading us to the next chapter. So this is like a sneak preview. Okay, Rocio, I need an ace. I need somebody who is spot on with everything. That's going to be you. You ready? <laughs> okay. What do all three of those have in common? Perfect. So all three of these have the same thing in the front and the same thing in the back, but they all have one plus one minus. So all three of these, they actually have a special name for that. It's called a difference of squares. And the name is going to come from their answer, which you'll see in a second. So this is just a preview for next chapter.
Um, Hattie, do you think you could help me multiply this one out? The first one, the x plus 6, x minus 6. Okay. What do you get? Yes. Good. Thirty six. Yeah, it's super easy to, to do that. Yeah. And then uh, what happens with these middle ones? Uh huh. What happens when you put them together? Nope. Zero. Yeah. They cancel each other out. And so your answer is the first thing squared minus the second thing squared. So these problems are called a difference of squares because the middle term is always going to cancel out when it's set up like this. And your answer is going to be difference means subtract. So your answer is going to be the two things squared being subtracted. And you do not have to know this name at all. I'll just tell you that right now. You don't have to know the title. But I want you to recognize going forward that if we have the same information, 1 plus 1 minus, it's going to work out the same every time. So 7 times 7, 49 minus 7h plus 7h minus h squared minus 7h plus 7h cancels so it's the first thing squared minus the second thing squared is the final answer mm. Honey, how about you? Are you there? Mm, how about you, Ayla? Yep. What do you get when you do that? So you're going to... Oh, close. You're going to... Um, I'll write this down on the bottom. So if we would add them together, then that would be 2x squared. If we multiply them, then we add their powers. No, absolutely. I get how that one could be easy to do. Okay, so we got, oh, that's okay. So what I was going to try to ask somebody, which it's okay if you if you want to be done. What I was going to try to ask somebody is if they follow the pattern of these first two problems we did, because notice how those middle terms cancel each time. What we can do is we can just square the first thing and then square the second thing and write them as minus. And that's only for this special kind of problem. Um, Austin, what do we get if we square 2y? Oh, okay, so what what you were answering was, like, the next thing? Okay, here, I'll start over. Because I can, I can tell a lot of people are having trouble following the pattern that I was showing. So, uh, Ayla told me x squared and x squared. I think you were, you were trying to do x squared times 2y. Okay, that's fine, we'll do that. So, minus 2x squared y. That was correct. 
And then what's next? Hit. Okay, perfect. So then this becomes 2x squared y. And then 2y times 2y is 4y squared. And these two middle ones cancel out because one's minus 2, one's plus 2. Now, for a lot of you guys, did this third one feel harder? Okay. Um, is there a particular thing about the third one that made it harder? Was it just because there's multiple letters and squares? And... Yeah, go for it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what I was trying to show from the start, but I, I ditched that because I could see a lot of people were not catching that. So that was okay. Yeah, so these special kinds of problems that look like this, you can always kind of go right to the answer, but that's okay. There is nothing wrong with just multiplying it out every single time. It'll work if you multiply it out every single time. Oh, we killed Caleb already. He fell over and fell asleep. Man, Caleb, that was only 20 minutes in. <laughs> if it makes you guys feel better. Yesterday, I was so tired from doing all the work through this week that as soon as my open help session got done yesterday, I fell asleep with my head sitting on the, my desk. And I stayed that way for two hours, and I woke up at supper time. So it is not just you guys that's getting tired. Um, basically, just doing schoolwork on the computer, it just it makes your body more tired for whatever reason. And I don't know if that's just because it's hard on your eyes or what, but absolutely, you guys are are seeing the effects of that as the year goes on. Um, it is a lot harder. I mean, think about it. All throughout the normal school day, we did six classes a day, and most people didn't have a problem with it. It's because you get up, you walk around, it wakes you up, it gets your blood flow in. It's hard to just sit in one spot and work for a while. 100% is the reason I went into teaching. I knew that I could not handle sitting at a desk all day like at some corporate office. Just for me personally, that's I can't do that. So this year has been really tough on me. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, I'm, this is actually all I had for today. Like this, this was, this is basically just a continuation of yesterday. And this is the end of the chapter. So um, yesterday, quite a few people said that they would really appreciate a flex day tomorrow to be able to catch up on work and just, Catch up and work and rest your brain. Um, I am totally fine with that. We haven't had a single work day yet this year. And um, those are actually pretty important as a student to be able to just get work done. So I'm 100% okay with that. I do want you guys to know that I still need to take attendance. Okay. So rather than make you come on Google Meet at a certain time, I'll just put an attendance question up. So make sure you guys do that. Uh... I put the chapter review in Friday's folder. You guys do not need to do it until Monday. Now, if you're bored and you want to get the review done and get things done ahead of time, you're welcome to. But we're going to do the review together as a class on Monday. And then Tuesday will be the test. So, just make sure you guys take attendance tomorrow. You are welcome to send my questions my way. So like if you're having trouble with something, if you're working on something, do that. Otherwise, there's a lot of people who are kind of way behind on concept checks and homework. So use that use that time to catch up if you need to. Um, I can certainly advise you on anything you want help with. So 
you know, I'm, I'm here to, to kind of help you guys. Learn, learn to make use of your resources. So, all right. I'm done for today. We, we did not have a lot of new stuff. And I didn't want to overload you. I appreciate you guys being here. I'll see, well, I'll see you Monday. Yeah, you bet. I'll see you Monday, I guess. Uh, except for Hattie, who I won't see. Yep.